guys and welcome to another studio vlog so apologies if this is a bit dark it's a really dark day I've put all my lights on and it's still quite dark but I just couldn't wait to show you the new notepads from my new collection thank you so much to those of you who supported it last week yeah let me show you
guys, so this morning I am packaging up this painting to go to its new home. So it's been varnished, so I just need to check, make sure that the coverage is okay. And then we can add the finishing touches. So I used this Winsor & Newton spray varnish, which I use for most of my paintings, unless it's a gloss finish, and then I use a different one. But I'm um, just checking it all make sure there's no issues with any of it and uh, we've got a couple of black marks on the edge here so I'm just gonna lightly sand that other than that I think it looks pretty good so um, now I'm going to turn it over and put all the details on the back. So I use a gold oil pen for that and um, it is the Uni Paint marker and uh, it's in gold, it's an oil based pen so I need to give it a good shake and then I'm going to sign it, put its name on there and um, then we need to put the hanging pictures on the top. The one the back at the top. <laughs> and then I usually put my web address on one of the sides as well. While that's drying, I'm going to put some fuzzy feet on the corners as well. So I have these pads, they're furniture pads to um, protect the wall when you hang it up. And um, it just gives a nice um, protection so that the, paint, the painting doesn't rub on the wall where it's hung. So just put them in the four corners like that and now we need to measure so we can make our holes for the string okay, so I've got my bits that I need my picture wire my um, eyelet thingies and my ruler and a bradle and I'm just going to measure um, from the top so I usually do about two to three inches dependent on the piece i think we're going to go four inches on this one so i'm going to make a mark just on the inside at four inches i'll do it on the inside of the wooden cradle because then it won't stick out and interfere when it's hanging on the wall otherwise it'll kind of bow out and it won't be flush so i'm just going to tilt this up so i can make a bit better of a hole in there it's a good way to start it off because it's quite fiddly and uh, tricky to get them in so while I'm doing that I'm going to do the other side as well just make a little mark do it in the middle and then I'm just going to twist these in and um, you can use pliers to help you as well because it can be a little bit tough to get it in and um, you need it really nice and tight and uh, secure, ready to put your picture wire on. So I'm going to need some um, pliers to finish that one off and now I'm going to tilt this one up and do this. Sometimes these go in really easy, just depends on the toughness of the wood um, that you working with and uh, sometimes it needs a little bit of um, encouragement <laughs> to get in there okay so now we're ready to put the wire on so literally you cut it sort of just more than what you need because you need to twist it around about an inch or an inch and a half something like that I'm just gonna make sure it fits that's fine so I'm just going to temporary twist it there while I put the other side in. So just thread it through. Try 
try and straighten it out as best you can. And this bit is a bit tricky because you need to get it really tight. So I think I might bring it over a bit so it's a bit more even. This was the last piece on the reel, so <laughs> it's a little bit longer than what I needed, but at least I've got enough to get this done. So just trying to straighten it out and tighten it as best I can. Um, that actually looks like it needs to be twisted a bit more. So I'm just going to quickly undo this and tighten it up a little bit more. Alright, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to twist this one. Try and get it as tight as you can. Again, you can use the pliers to help with that if you need to. And then this side, you need to pull it really tight because you don't want it to be all saggy here once it's hung up. So try and pull it as tight as possible. Give it a nice tight bend here so that it's not loose and then just wind it around a little bit as tight as you can and then I've got some wire cutters and I'm just going to cut off the excess just be careful these little bits because they're very sharp and also the cut edges are now very sharp as well so you need to be really careful with those so I would suggest using your pliers to try and um, tighten that up and make it safer and do the same on this side again it's quite a fiddly job but um, necessary when you're selling paintings you need to make sure your customer has the fixings ready so they can just hang it up when they want um, unless of course they've asked you to not put any on um, if they're going to get it framed or something um, do check that with your customer before because um, they might want to get it professionally framed and in which case you don't need to do any of this <laughs> we have everything finished off on the back and it's uh, ready to wrap up ready for my customer Thank you.